Hello and welcome back to Recipe Land on my channel and thank you very much for letting me have a bit of time off. I feel very rested and peaceful and um, I have lots of exciting recipes to share with you. So starting with this one, this is a recipe for brookies. Now if you haven't heard of these, these are something I discovered on Pinterest like weeks or maybe even months ago. I saw a picture of them and I was like, uh, I need to make those. It's basically a cookie and a brownie mixed together and it makes a brookie, obviously. Um, so this recipe is um, something I had a little tinker around with some of my own brownie recipes and my own cookie recipes to see which ones work together best. And I have come up with a real corker for you. So I'm gonna start with making the cookie dough. This is a bit different to some of the cookie doughs I've made before in the past. It's really easy though. You basically dump all the ingredients in, mix it all together, add some chocolate chips and it's done. So I'm gonna start with some plain flour and I have some soft light brown sugar or you can use light muscovado sugar and also some caster sugar. And I have some soft unsalted butter as well. And I've got one large egg and the yolk of another egg. And then I also have some salt. And then mix that all together on a medium speed until it just comes together like a dough. And now that it's all come together, I'm gonna to add the last ingredient, which is 100 grams of chocolate chips. I'm using 50% cocoa solids so that it's not too bitter, uh, but you can just use any chocolate chips you like. And once that's thoroughly combined, it is ready. So what we're gonna do with this is not to bake it like a cookie because that would be defeating the point. We are going to make little balls of the dough and freeze them. And what that's gonna do is not allow them to cook when we put them in the brownie later. They'll stay a little bit underbaked, which is absolutely perfect. So it should be nice and soft and dough-like, but quite sticky. So I'm gonna use some spoons. You can do it with your hands, but it's really mega sticky, so it'll get very messy. I'm just going to scoop up kind of walnut size amounts, about like that, and just pop them on a baking tray, ready for the freezer. <laughs> Waste not, want not. Okay, so they're ready to go in the freezer and you need to freeze those for at least a couple of hours until they're nice and hard. Now it's time to make the brownie part of this recipe and I'm gonna start by melting some butter and chocolate together. I've got some uh, chopped unsalted butter here, which was nice and cold, and also some dark chocolate. So uh, this chocolate is 70% cocoa solids and they just go in and I mix them all together until it's totally melted. Basically, I love stirring and that is why risotto is my favorite thing in the whole world to cook and eat because all the stirring happens with risotto. And that is perfect. So my chocolate and my butter is melted and I need to wait until that's cooled down a little bit so it's fine to be getting on with the next bit. And that is beating eggs and sugar together. So I've got three large free range eggs and some caster sugar. And I just, I'm going to beat that together on medium to high speed for about three to five minutes until it's really whippy and pale. <laughs> so now that this is all lovely and whippy and voluminous, I'm going to add the chocolate and butter mixture. It's now quite cool, it's kind of like body heat, which is just right, so it's not going to cook the eggs. And I'm just going to pour that in while the machine's still going. And now that that's all in, you can just go right ahead and turn that off and put your dry ingredients in. But I'm just going to take this paddle out, otherwise it's going to get really annoying. So I'm going to sieve all the ingredients directly into the bowl with my chocolatey fingers. I've got some plain flour and some cocoa powder and some baking powder and salt. And I just need to shuffle that through the sieve. Sometimes it needs a bit of help. And I'm going to bring my paddle back on because this now needs to be folded gently. You can do it by hand, but I like to let the mixer do it just on a low speed till it all comes together. So it should look thick and sticky and dark and like you just want to put your face into it, which is perfect. And now it's time to put it into the tin. So I'm using a 10 inch square tin and I have lined it and greased it. 
I've just lined it with baking paper and I'm just going to dump all of this in there. And it, like I said, it's mega sticky, so it will need a little bit of levelling out, so I'm just going to use a cranked palette knife for that. And now that it's nice and level, it's time to put my frozen cookie dough balls into this thing. Now, you might not need them all because there's quite a lot, so don't worry if you're kind of overdoing your brownie, but really, like, the more the merrier. Uh, so just dot them about and stick them right in. And if there's some holes that you want to fill, just break off little smaller pieces and kind of poke them in the middle. Great, and now I'm going to bake this at 180 degrees C for around 20 to 22 minutes. You don't want to make it cooked all the way through, it needs to have a little bit of softness in the middle because that's how good brownies are made. So it's come out of the oven and it smells so good. But I'm going to have to wait until this is cooled down completely before I cut into it. And that's going to take me. It's cool. It's ready for me. I'm ready for it. I've got my big fat knife and I am going to see what's happening. Oh yeah, that is gonna be so tasty because that cookie dough is just a little bit underbaked, which is gonna make it chewy and yummy and cookie doughy. Oh! Now it's tasting time, so I'm just gonna cut a little sliver off. Because I think if I start, I won't be able to stop. Mm. Oh my god. Mmm. It's so fudgy and chewy and chocolatey. It's so chocolatey. Like there's so much chocolate in here. Mm. That is well nice. Well, I'm pretty excited about having made that, so hopefully you're gonna give it a go. So if you do, the description box has all the measurements for this recipe, so check that out and give it a thumbs up if you like it and let me know how you got on as well in the comments box below. I'm very excited. I'm gonna have to have some help eating this, so uh, hopefully, Sally, you're gonna help me? Yes, please. Great. So Sally and I are going to eat this uh, brownie just between us two, so don't judge us. And I will be back soon with another recipe. And until then, happy baking. See ya.